Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Bottom at Christmas and today we are taking on Everton. It's a big big game. We're still out of the relegation zones. Before we get started of course make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more great content like this. So how have we got here? How are we still in contention of staying up? Well not much has really changed, to be honest. Uh, Brighton, obviously, you saw us beating 4-0. Great win. And then we drew 0-0 with Leicester, which I was more than happy to take. Uh, a loss to Southampton away from home. They were very good. It was a bit of a shame, really. We conceded a penalty and in the 91st minute to end up losing that one. Uh, and against Liverpool, we put a good shift in. And to be fair, we performed pretty admirably. Uh, Everton today... We have also got Tottenham, Man United, Man City and Arsenal to come. So really, it's just down to how Brighton do. <laughs> um, we are four points ahead of them. So we've got a bit of bit of leeway already. If we can keep getting maybe a point every now and then in the next few games, I think we've got every chance of staying up. Now, tactically wise, we are sticking with what we've, we've got. 4-3-1-2. It's creating plenty of chances. It's just about taking them and making something happen. Um, Benteke and Mateta up top. Loftus-Cheek in behind. Eze, Riderweld and Gallagher in the middle. Mitchell, Retzos, Anderson, Klein at the back with Gator in goal. Um, we have got Eduard. He's back from injury, so he's slowly been introduced in the side. But Mateta and Benteke have actually played really well. Uh, unfortunately, Wilfred is injured for two to four weeks, so he'll miss most of... He'll probably be back for the end of the season. Uh, but We'll jump straight into it. We're taking on Everton, who are around mid-table. So, this is the game that to get three points in. Out of all the five games we've got left, this is the one to really be able to get something from uh, if we want to kind of use or get any points in the next few games. You can see that our upcoming opponents are all in the top four or five. So, it'll be tough. But we're looking good already. Eight minutes in and we've got a throw in that is launched forward. Loftus-Cheek receives it in the middle, plays into Gallagher, then Benteke. He looks through to Mateta, who's just holding it up, allowing Mitchell to get up in support of him. So that's very, very nice to see. A ball around the corner isn't quite good enough for Mateta to get on the end of and Pickford picks it up. But it's good football. It's, it's exactly what we've been doing throughout the since I've come in and started to implement this style. But a ball's flicked on. Calvert-Lewin is getting on the end of it. Can he get a ball across the box? He has to look backwards because Klein was there doing well to hold him up. And then again, a fantastic block by Benteke, working working hard to get back. Loftus-Cheek, though, is able to get onto the loose ball and drive forward. He is doing fantastically well. Finds Benteke in the middle. Then to Eze, who's going to look out wide to Mitchell. Uh, we shifted the ball quite nicely across the pitch. We still win the first 10 minutes. Mitchell with the ball in. Mateta with the header. And it's 1-0. What a great start to the game. 10 minutes in. We're 1-0 up. Uh, gives us a great thing. Something great to hold on to. And if we get these three points, I think we're so close. So, so close to staying in the league. Which would be quite an achievement comparing to what we where we started. Uh, but we'd be six points clear. That's for sure. Mitchell, ball in. Mateta's got a goal. There it is. Tariq Mitchell with another assist. Mateta with another goal. Two crosses, two headers, two goals in 13, 14 minutes. Wow. I can't can't quite believe it. Tariq Mitchell with the ball in. He's headed in by Mateta. First to the front post. And we're 2-0 up. It's a fantastic start. Look at this. Six points clear now. We have to just hold on though. We They haven't had any shots yet. But... There, there is still a good side. Uh, we know that as the ball is played through to Rondon, can the defence get across to shield that out? It is Anderson who's had to come across there. Godfrey, though, at right back, looking back to Allen, who's then going to shift it back to Godfrey, who's got a yard of space, finds Cavett-Lewin at the back post, who does end up heading over the bar. We get lucky there, uh, not able to cut out the cross initially, and they do get a ball into the box. But with 20 minutes gone, 2-0 up, looking pretty comfortable we're at the moment as well. Mateta and and looks like uh, Mitchell are kind of forming a bit of a bond there. So whether we go up or if we stay up or go down, I think we've got a good partnership growing there. But um, Gator comes out from the cross and he's able to grab that nicely and comfortably, bring it into his chest. And so he's got a bit of time now to kind of decide what he wants to do. It looks like a long ball is the option. 
A big ball up top. Loftus cheek running through on goal. Can he take it around the keeper? He does and puts it in. Vincente Guaita seeing the run from Loftus cheek from that shadow striker position. And I mean, what a run. Runs all the way through. Just takes it down with a beautiful touch. And we're 3-0 up in 30 minutes. I mean, this is quite incredible. Gator with the ball. It's a long ball forward. Loftus Chiefs brings it down. He just powers past the defence and slots it past the keeper. 3-0 now. And we've got a lovely bit of goal difference against Brighton as well. Mitchell with a corner. Can we get a fourth? No, not quite. Pickford comes out and claims that easily that time. Uh, with 10 minutes to go till half time, they are going to look to try and mount a a goal scoring opportunity Pickford this time looks to go long but they haven't got a Loftus cheek to get on the end of it Gallagher with the long ball forward this time Digne just takes it in his stride and is able to move it back forward but Gallagher gets on it again look at that work rate he was so far back he's got forward Benteke with the ball through to Loftus cheek oh he's just unable to get the ball past the keeper it's a good save by Pickford in the end but what a pass what an effort on goal we're, we're creating those chances and we're doing very, very well with it as well. It's a free kick now. Um, 30, only five minutes to go. Conor Gallagher, can he get another free kick goal? He can't. It is palmed away by Pickford. Anderson gets on the end of it. He's got no support whatsoever. Looks to try and get the ball across, but Calvert-Lewin now latches onto it. And Everton are on the break. It's a ball forward by Gray. Klein does very well to head it away. And it's reset. So... I mean, five minutes to go and we're doing very, very well. It's a, not a great ball out wide and Godfrey cuts it out, not allowing Mitchell to get it down. Uh, and now Everton are going to look to get a goal. Awobi on the right-hand side receives it from God Godfrey. Godfrey? God Who played it? I don't know. It's a header by Rondon, but Guaita easily catches that. Great, in, right into his grasp. Five minutes to go. I'm just going to keep saying it until half time. Five minutes to go. Yeah, please just, yeah, I mean, we don't need the highlight anymore. Anderson coming forward, Gator with the throw out. Klein plays into Loftus-Cheek, who gets a little bit of space in there every time. Benteke into Mateta, back to Riderwell, who looks out wide to Mitchell. Here we go, lovely stuff. Eze, he's through on goal, surely. Mateta, can he get his hat-trick? No, he can't. Pickford saves. Probably should have been the hat-trick for him there. But it's, it's um, so positive. It's so, so positive. We're so much more attacking I mean, if we played another season, I think we'd do pretty well. 3-0 up at half time. What a fantastic result so far. Uh, I don't want to change anything, to be quite honest. Let's leave it completely as it is, because the boys have been fantastic. Godfrey with the throw-in, though, for Everton. Straight away in the second half. Gray into Godfrey again, but Conor Gallagher cuts it out. And it's back to Mateta and Benteke up top, who's got that little partnership growing. Mitchell on the left-hand side. Unfortunately, ben Benteke will be leaving us at the end of the season. But can he get a few more goals just to reassure us that we will be staying up? Eze, ball into the box. is headed clear. But Klein should be able to get on the end of that. And can he deliver another ball into the box? He does. It's balled in. Mateta with the header. And that's his hat-trick. That's his third of the game. His third header and his third goal coming from the right-hand side this time with Klein's delivery instead of Mitchell's. But both fullbacks doing exceedingly well. Unfortunately, Klein will be leaving as well at the end of the season. Uh, he's been very, very good since we've come in. Uh, and we've kind of picked up a bit of form. Klein, ball in, and Mateta is there. Beats the defender in the air. And it's 4-0. What a great result this is going to be against the 12th placed Everton. Um... Wow. Uh, I mean, we're seven points clear now of Brighton. Uh, so we can still be caught technically, uh, but I'm I'm pretty confident that we should be absolutely fine. Gabamin, Davis into Iwobi, then back to Digne. Digne's on the ball here, plays back to Davies again, who's going to drive forward into the box, cuts back to Digne into Iwobi, he shoots, it's well over the bar. We can't be letting him shoot, but we're still looking very, very confident. 60 minutes gone, an hour into the game now, and we are still 4-0 up. We're still rolling with the punches. Mateta is getting his hat-trick of a goal. Three headers, so, I mean, undefeatable in the air. Conor Gallagher, we will take you off, though. Michael Elise will come on for you as a little replacement in there just to get some more legs on the pitch. Uh, and we'll probably look to do the same for a couple of other players as well. As we go into the final 10 minutes, we'll take off Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Will Hughes can come on and we'll just pop Eze back there up top, up top, attacking midfield. And Edouard, you can come on for Mateta, who's obviously got his hat-trick. He's going to be happy with that. A great result in the end for us. And I mean, it's a result that 
can almost bank our safety. Uh, we needed that extra goal. We, well, I say we needed that extra win against Everton to really get the opportunity to to stay up. Because like I say, we have got some massive games coming up. Some huge, huge games that I'm not overly confident we'll get the, any points from. So we needed that win there. We've got a seven-point gap now from Brighton. Uh, if we look at the schedule, we can see that we have got four games left. So Brighton can still catch us if we lose all our games and they win, what, four of theirs or three and a, and a draw or something like that. Um, Tottenham, Man United, Man City and Arsenal are the teams we're playing. It's not great for us let's be honest uh schedule for brighton though let's take a look at who they've got see they've got aston villa brentford newcastle and wolves who i believe are all a lot closer yeah so brentford newcastle and was it leeds was that right was i right in saying leeds no aston villa that was it uh aston villa are sitting in i can't see them 10th uh then you've got wolves in 13th and then newcastle in 15th and Brentford below them. So they have got the better running, to be quite honest. But I'm feeling confident. I think I think we could get a point off one of these teams. I'm, I'm, I think we're doing so well. I think there's every chance that we can. You can see there, Tottenham's the lowest ranked one at sixth. Um, and they're our first game. But then we've just got it harder and harder. Man United, Man City and Arsenal. So it's going to be tough. It's going to be a, a, a tough one. We'll, we'll I'm sure it will go down to the wire because that's what FM likes to do. But thank you very much for watching. Make sure you hit like, subscribe on the channel. And of course, make sure you get ready for the next episode. It'll be a big one and I'll see you then.